Hi, I'm Lauren Botine, Technical Agronomist for Channel in West Central Iowa. Let's take a really quick look at soybean growth stages and how you can quickly and accurately stage a soybean plant. Staging soybeans is very important to know what growth stages they're in for your herbicide and fungicide applications that occur throughout the growing season. Soybeans start with the vegetative stage. First we have VE, which is emergence of the soybean. And soybeans have an epigeal type emergence, so the uh, cotyledons need to be pulled completely through the soil surface to be considered VE. Then we have VC, which is when the unifoliate leaves are unfolded or completely unrolled. This is an example of VC right here. And as the name implies, unifoliate, you only have one leaf. Then we go on to V1, which is the uh, first set of trifoliate leaves, which are unfolded uh, or unrolled. And then you, uh, you can see here, as the name implies there, you have three leaves at the end of the petiole. So V1, V2 here, you got V1 here, V2, V3, V4. This, this uh, V5 isn't quite unrolled all the way. I don't know if I'd consider that V5 quite yet, but you simply add a new set of trifoliates each time and we'll eventually get to the reproductive stages and that's indicated by the letter R. R1 is considered the beginning of full flower and this plant isn't flowering yet, but you'll see a flower at any one of these nodes to be considered R1. Then you get to R2, which is considered full flowering, and you'll be looking for an open flower at any one of the two uppermost nodes. And once you get to beginning of pod growth, that's when we gotta get a little technical here and get your, get your ruler out for this one. R3 is considered the beginning of pod growth, and you will observe pods that are 3 sixteenths inch at one of the four uppermost nodes with this stage. R4 is full pod, where pods will be at least three-fourths inches long at one of the four uppermost nodes. R5 is the beginning of seed growth inside the pod. And this growth stage is when seeds within the pod are at least one-eighths inches long at one of the four uppermost nodes on the main stem of the plant. Then you get to R6, which is considered full seed, where a pod containing a green seed that fills the pod is at least at one of the four uppermost nodes on the main stem. Now we're winding down a little bit. We get to R7, which marks the beginning of maturity, where you'll find one normal pod on the main stem that has reached its final mature color. Then we get to R8, which marks full maturity, where you'll have 95% of the pods that have reached their true mature color. Now that you've gotten your ruler out and you've measured seed size and pod size and what nodes are what, um, I'm just going to make it a little bit easier for you to remember and it's simple, simplified things for me to help me remember it too. So R1 is the beginning of flower, R2 is full flower, R3 is the beginning of pod, R4 is full pod, R5 is the beginning of seed, R6 is full seed, R7 is the beginning maturity, and R8 is full maturity. So hopefully you found my tips today on staging soybeans helpful. Thank you.